are level 4 diamond sandbars I think? Because that guy looks massive. We are still competing on the Emerald Coast Mega Competition which is goals only, so even if this guy doesn't make diamond it still would be nice because what we truly need are big goals. I hope he scores above 160. He is down. The rack looks very decent, almost like the rack of a level 5, but it's only gold with a score of 157.11. Not even above 160. At least there is a nice improvement over the 140 we submitted the other day. So it's not too bad. I can't believe it. The only time, literally the only time I go looking for a troll kangaroo for the competition, I end up finding a guaranteed diamond. What are the odds? He's a tenif. So I guess what we're gonna do is to make him go alert so he stands up and we can reach a long. Should be easy. He's alert. So stand up. And that's it. He died real quick. So far I've gotten like 7 troll kangaroos and only 1 diamond, then when we actually needed a troll we end up finding what seems to be our new personal best, I mean that is crazy. How big is it? No shot. 530 score. And 66 kilograms of weight on the dot. This guy is a max score max weight diamond. That's crazy. I don't remember the last time we got a max core max weight diamond from multiplayer, they are really hard to come by. We are still gonna continue looking for more kangaroos, since the reason we are here is because we wanna find a troll level 9 to submit it to the competition, but once you find something of this size, it's honestly hard to find the motivation to keep looking for that species because it's gonna be nearly impossible to find something better. Now. Normally I don't tend to shoot the rare females of the endler species, but I won't deny that that piebald female hog deer looks amazing. What a beautiful rare. I think it has a different fur pattern than the male I got. I don't think it will have any place on my main lodge, but I'm a save it just in case a bigger lodge gets added at some point, which I think is very needed at this point because there are more than 90 species in the game at the moment, and with so many possible rares and diamonds and great ones, the amount of plagues that are available on this Aseka Safari Trophy Lodge are simply not enough anymore. They used to be enough, but not anymore. Now here we have it. It is definitely not the same fur pattern as the piebald stack I got, which makes me wonder if the males also have different piebald variations. It is simply a beautiful trophy, but I don't think it was as beautiful as this shot. Clean hard shot. Now we gotta continue because we're here to get big calls for the competition and so far we've been getting everything but big calls. That one's big. It is a max estimate. And it's getting far. We hit him. Nice. If we can hit him a second time it would be ideal, but a single hit should be enough. Anyway, it landed right there, quite far from the shore. So I guess we'll have to wait a couple minutes until he gets floating here. How big is this level 4? You know, if it scores above 3.7, I'm simply gonna call it a day, at least when it comes to honing magpies, because it's gonna be hard to find a bigger one, but if it scores lower than that, then we're definitely gonna continue trying to get one of that size. Oh wow! 3.79! We wanted a big gold, here we have a big gold. It is honestly a great kill because I just took a look at the competition leaderboard and so far out of 21 people only 3 have managed to get one bigger than this one. So if we have the luck to get a few nice calls of some of the other species we're missing, we may have a chance to get within the top 5, a real chance. Alright guys, we're back on multiplayer doing some server hopping, and look at what I just found. Max estimates double quail track. I already submitted a call to the competition, but there's still plenty of room for improvement because it was only a 216. Oh, hold up, mating call. I imagine that comes from the same flock, so we gotta go take a look. Right there. Only two. 
I mean that can't be the whole flock, there have to be more. Where are the rest? Oh, I was starting to wonder if the flock was in fact that small and as you can see there's the big one. Up to 246 estimate. It is getting far but I'ma try to hit him. And we got him. I wanted to drop the one next to it as well because it also had a promising estimate but I really doubt it will score as high as the one we dropped, you know? This guy may be massive and I wouldn't rule out it being a level 2 diamond. Oof, 234.63. Holy. I believe this is the biggest double quell that has been killed so far on this competition. The diamond score is 237. We still gotta get another 3 B calls to have at least one gold of all the 10 species that are part of the challenge, and honestly I'm not sure if we'll have the time to get them before the competition ends in just a few hours, but at least we're getting some decent trophies in the process. Oh, no way. Level 3 is double quell. I was following its track because I already knew it was a max estimate. But there's no way it is a level 3. I mean, at this point of the competition, with only a couple hours remaining, there's really no point for us in continuing so hard trying to get the 3 remaining goals because they would have to be gigantic in order for them to give us a total score that is enough to rank within the top 5. So honestly, at this point of the competition, I simply prefer to let the hunt take us to wherever it takes us. Warning call. Over there. Well, it seems like they already took off, but we didn't even manage to see them. They are so small that it can be hard. Now, as we keep chasing this level 3, I wanna talk a bit about the upcoming reserve, because everything indicates that we're getting very, very close to the date where they are gonna reveal it. You know, my guess is that we'll have to wait another 2 weeks from now to finally know what will be the location, because if we take as reference the reveal of Emerald Coast, we'll notice that the reveal of the map happened on a Tuesday, May 23rd, which is definitely good reason to think that things are gonna be quite similar this time, and they are also gonna reveal it on the third week of May. I mean, that is my guess. If I had to bet on a date, I would say that we're gonna get some huge news on Tuesday, May 21st, but who knows. Level 1? He has to be here. I haven't seen it in a while. Hey, female, there are more? And there he is! Let's drop him. He's down, finally. Was a long chase. It is quite hard to come by a max level of this species, so every time I find one I definitely feel quite lucky. You know, they are arguably the rarest diamond on this map. Now let's see if it actually makes it. Yes, it is a diamond. 240.5. A diamond stubble quell. What a nice trophy. What a nice trophy. It is honestly crazy that we managed to find one on the same day that we had the luck to find the max core max weight kangaroo. It's been a fantastic hunt so far, no doubt. I swear this hunt doesn't even make sense anymore, that is Eleusistic. Hawk deer. What's going on? And if that wasn't enough, there's also a very nice looking level 4 right there. Which is kinda suspicious, not gonna lie, because it seems to have a decent chance to be diamond. Since these guys frequently make it below max level. So that is definitely a good reason to think that this may be a moded server because it's not normal to have a diamond and a rare on a single lake. I've been on this server for like 20 minutes and honestly so far I haven't seen anything strange until now. But you never know. So after we kill these guys we're gonna spend some time to verify if this server is actually legit. Okay, the potential diamond is over there, he's nervous. And it is coming this way apparently. It is returning to a lake. 
man, he looks big, eh? He's gotta be close. I don't know if it will make it, but he's definitely gotta be close. Those are some big antlers. He is down. I won't be surprised at all if it makes diamond even being a level 4, but at the same time I kinda wanted to be just a cult because if it is a diamond then the odds of the server being modded would be way higher, especially since we know that there's also a leucistic in the area, which by the way we're gonna go kill it right after we harvest this guy. 101.64, it is only a cult. Now let's go for the leucistic. Is that him? No way he's that close. Roughly 110 meters out. Such a beautiful rare man. And I definitely gotta say that our luck with the leucistics of any species recently has been insane. We got a leucistic tough the dog a couple weeks ago, then a leucistic kangaroo, and now this hog deer. This is my first ever leucistic hog deer, and if you happen to see it on this video, it is because the server was actually legit. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time I kill a rare and then I go check other areas, and it ends up being a modded session. Look at how nice it looks. At a first glance, I thought it was an albino, but then I remembered that this species does not have an albino variation, so it had to be leucistic. So anyway guys, roughly one hour after we got the leucistic, the Emerald Coast mega competition finally concluded, and man, I gotta say that it was one of the best competitions so far with more than 20 participants, and at the end, Chewie, who was also the winner of the Cuatro Colinas mega competition, also ended up claiming the first place on this one. So congratulations to Chewie for winning two of the last three competitions, which is definitely not an easy feat, considering that there's been plenty of people competing. And now the question is, who will be able to remove the crown from Chewie's head on the new active challenge? You know, this time the combined score of the biggest reindeer, the biggest brown bear and the biggest monster we kill after the start of the competition will be our entry. At this point I think it is needless to say that you are all invited to join this competition simply by joining my Discord server to which you will find a link on the description. And now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna head over to Medved Taiga to see if we can get some submission worthy trophies for this challenge. Well, that could definitely make for a decent start, Max is a mid most dear. I've been looking for one of these for maybe the last 20 minutes, and I gotta say I'm surprised with the amount of most dears that we've been sporting, there are a lot. I mean, if you take a look at my most dear hotspot map, you'll notice that their entire population is concentrated on the bottom half of the reserve, which normally means that the majority of the lakes where they can drink are usually gonna have a fair number of them. Like for example, the frozen river in the middle I'm yet to experience one time where it isn't stacked with zones. And it actually happens to be the spot on which we're hunting at the moment, so I definitely recommend you checking it out. Now this guy is alert. I'm a drop him using the 243 Cuomo. We just need a better angle. Let's see. He's broadside now. And that will do it. He's down. 218.43. Well, I was honestly expecting more after seeing that estimate. So let's continue looking for a bigger one. And it didn't take too long. That's a giant. I mean, it is also a level 2, but a top estimate of 275 is definitely very promising. Are we looking at a diamond here? I think we might. You know, for this competition, we are definitely gonna need a diamond of at least two of the three species in order to have a chance to win it, but those two diamonds would have to be really big in order to compensate the lack of the third one. So even if this guy makes it, I don't think I'ma settle down with it. I'm also gonna try to find a level 3. We drop them. I'm honestly excited to see a score of this guy, I really think it has a chance to make it. I mean, look at those tusks. Look at those tusks. Oof, 242.13, it is only a gold. Really big gold. I mean, it is decent, but it's honestly not gonna be enough to be competitive. 
You know, so far since the competition started, there have been 8 different submissions for most tier and 3 of those submissions have been diamonds. Of course, we can't forget about the other two species, which are the reindeer and the brown bear, but for the moment I wanna focus on the most tier, and once we get a level 3 most tier, if we have the luck to find any, we are gonna go focus on the brown bear, because I feel it is gonna be way harder than the reindeer. Mainly because we already have a reindeer grind running at the moment, and it shouldn't be hard to get a diamond from it. 